What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? This is I, James, RedemptionAgency.com, 22 years, selling full-time on eBay, and it's 4 p.m. I would ask where your sales are, but I'm pretty sure I can guess. Same place mine are. Nowhere to be found. So, I haven't... <laughs> I'm at two hundred and thirty-five dollars at four p.m. I've been sitting at two hundred and thirty-five dollars for three and a half hours. Ever since these this issue started with the search, I've had nothing. Right before I walked down the steps, two offers came through. So I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. So maybe they'll pay during this video. That would be nice. But I've been sitting at $235 for three and a half hours now. And it sucks. And there seems to be... There's threads going on on the eBay boards going on about this. So it's kind of widespread. There are a few people that said they it's not happening to them. So I guess it's not everybody. Um, there's also some who are experiencing eBay is taking the returns off of their items, saying that they don't have returns when they do have returns. Mine still says free returns or 60-day returns or whatever. So I'm not experiencing that one, but that is apparently another issue that's on top of this. And that's to go along with the issue of a lot of people who still cannot list items because of server failure. Whatever they've done the last couple of few days they've been doing, we're basically back to square one, it feels like. I feel like I'm in a mentally abusive relationship again. That's what I feel like. Just when you thought you were out. Baby girl! I checked my average day sales for the past two weeks since it's been going great for two weeks. And I'm right under $700 a day average daily sales. So at 4 p.m., $235. So gives you kind of an indication, if you will, at least where I'm at. It's but ugly. 13 items sold, 7 organic, 6 promoted. So, I don't, what it appears like is that you're going to get the same search results no matter what you set your settings at. So, that could be eliminating a lot of people. It's not rotating, basically. And so, if you're not one of the lucky few on the first pages of everything, I guess, you're just SOL. I don't know. <coughs> coughing a lot lately. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> that feels like a tickle in my throat, though. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? We're going to suffer just like we have for the last two years with this damn company. <coughs> just when everything seemed to be going fairly well. I don't know what the hell's going on with this tickle in my throat. And I don't have nothing down here to drink. <coughs> okay. Alright. Uh, Josh just asked, do you use the out-of-stock option? I do not. Um, let's see. And then another comment says, if you are familiar with software programming at all, it is very easy to change one function initially and have several other functions change unintentionally. With a beast like eBay, this is a constant cycle of change and catch up with the unintentionals. Yeah, and that's, the, that's the understatement of the year right there. <laughs> that's the understatement of the last two and a half years for me. I get this when I end items early that have more than one quantity. 
Uh, that's showing the things mixed up. Yeah, that will happen when you do, like the dates being off, that does happen when you like end a cell similar and you have more than one and one is sold from that, then that'll pop up over there. Yes, that is correct. It does happen then. That's why uh, I can't couldn't figure out what was going on with mine. So, And then until I stumbled into what is actually going on, eBay is never without issues. You keep rocking it, James. Yeah. It's just the fact that there's been so many for so long now. And it's not just a simple one here and there, quick fix, boom, boom, boom. And somebody just paid for one of the offers. Uh, it's just self-inflicted BS that we just have to keep putting up with. Yes, James, I just looked at your sold page and it does not look like what you show in your video. It looks like we are used to seeing weird. Huh. And then somebody on the message board said they looked at my mine too. And for them, it showed and he named the item and that was the last item I had sold at that time. Which is still technically the last item. Well, not now, but so it's not happening for everybody, it appears so. I don't know enough about what the hell they're doing to figure that one out, so. <laughs> Tyler Swift. I didn't even realize I was saying Tyler Swift in my video I made when I was doing the next items I was listing. Taylor Swift. I guess you can tell I don't really pay attention to what she's doing. <laughs> uh, I got a new one, so I got a return, and I went to process the return. I go into eBay, hit issue refund, and relist for free. So eBay relists my item for free, and I get an email stating my item is now up for sale again. But the system does not issue any refund. I'm wondering what is going on. I keep checking this every hour, thinking eBay must just be slow, but nothing yet. If eBay doesn't issue a refund by tonight, I will go into eBay. It could, I mean, I think... Normal refunds usually take up to 48 hours, so it's probably something like that would be my guess. Just right out of the bat. Uh, they changed the format on the app again. TSC is major talented. Uh, I hear you mention an overnight shutdown quite often in your video. Are you saying that your items are un unavailable or not being seen for someone to order? Wouldn't that be an easy to test for? And in response to that, it would not be easy to test for. For example, if you're on the East Coast, how could you be sure that somebody on the West Coast is seeing your listings at any given time? And that's, that's the way I feel too about it. Because on those nights, it's... I, yeah, I... I you know, it's it's all head scratcher for me because I don't understand the what's going on with the company, what they're doing. It's just there's something to it when you have no no sales, no offers from literally six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, and they start and end at the same minute. There's something to that. That's not no, and it's not. It's, it's a very, very. It's a like a ninety nine percent of the time consistent type of thing. So, there's something there to that. What that is, I call it a shutdown. All right. And yes, I keep getting a lot of questions about Pee Wee and the medication. And the pet medication is doing well. Uh, he's had no seizures since we started the new medication. So it's been beautiful. Beautiful. And I just refreshed orders for you. Oh, I put pay on paid and shipped. Okay, I'm like, why is it showing this morning stuff? 
All righty. Well, first up, we've got Last Tango in Paris soundtrack, two CD set, sealed. This sold for $35. Boom. Biggity bam. Next up, we've got Joshua Cadison CD. That one album of his is good, actually. I haven't listened to that thing forever. Uh, Painted Desert Serenade or something. Has the song Jesse on it. Painted Desert, Painted Desert Serenade. Actually, actually, I used to think it was good. I haven't listened to it in many, many years. So from now I could think it sucks. I don't know. Probably not. But, uh, but just the CD single alone, or the CD promo single, just the disc, uh, sold for seven dollars. Next up, we've got Jennifer Lopez purse. This sold for eighteen dollars. Oh, and I'm getting so many items. The post, I know people's been having issues with the post office not scanning and stuff for a while. It's starting to seem like my items are really starting to explode with that problem right now. So I don't know what the hell is going on with the post office. If it's still part of the backup that they've been having. with, And then they had a, a thing where their computers weren't scanning or at least not talking with the program, software, whatever. I don't know if that's still an issue, but I've just started getting a flood of stuff in with customers saying, hey, please ship my item. And I'm like, it's been shipped. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I've answered four of those emails today alone. And I refunded one of them because it was over a month. Next up, the other ones, I'm holding them off, trying to say, hey, I do guarantee everything. Let's wait one more week, please. And, and I explained to them that, that problems that I know that the post office was having. So uh, we got this banner. What it represents, I'm not sure. I never didn't really look it up. Hood cap. Some kind of occult thing. I don't know. But that sold for $7. I love, anytime I find any banners or aprons or scarves anything light i'm always grabbing them at the bins st louis cardinals cap sold for 13.50 we got uriah heap on vinyl that sold for eight dollars we've got are you ready for a cd lot yeah we got two Janet Jackson singles, one being a promo, one not. Uh, together sold for $20.50. We got Scorpions Love at First Sting Record Club version. That sold for $5. Next up, we got something I used to sell all the time. I would get these things in in all different colors. I'd find them at the bins and sell them for like $30 to $40 a piece. This thing's been in my store for a while. Finally sold, but I had to take an offer of $10 on it. So those things kind of disappeared in value. Vanished, if you will. Vanished. Masterworks. Classical PCD. Sealed. Sold for $16. And we got Phone Pranks. William P. Richardson CD. That sold for $10.40. So that hat just paid. So at least I should be over 235 now. Yay! 261! Yay! I'm going somewhere now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just got so I got two more offer. No, that one I took already. That's one of the other ones, but it keeps saying it's there. So uh Janet Jackson. Rhythm Nation promo, disc only. $10, sure. Sold. I wonder if it's the same person who bought them. 
So that's it. So I'm already, what, four videos deep for the day? And I'd have more. I would have had another one going, but I've just been trying to figure this eBay crap out when I should have just ignored it and started working again. So that's what I'm going to do after this video. So I've got this video, and I'll at least have at least one more probably shipping or uh, work with me video up today. So this could be like a six video day. Wow. Just to give you a give you a little insight on, you know, I don't expect the videos to get a lot of views. My morning one usually has its pretty steady views when I do the title or and or the thumbnail correctly uh, to get your normal viewer in and then drag some other people in. And in this video, usually does it not the same as that, but sometimes can and sometimes even that one day was better just because of the thumbnail and my title, clickbaitish. Not really clickbaitish, but fish hook, if you will. So all these other videos, I don't expect them to do anything weird or, or special. And the one I just started where uh, I'm showing items that I'm going to take pictures of or list or something that day. That's the one I just took. Just now came through a little late. Um, I'm going to try to title them differently. Like the one today was I learned Taylor Swift, Tyler Swift likes words and her mother thinks she would be broke if not a pop star so if you watch that video you get the joke from that video so i'm going to try to do oddball stuff like that with those videos just to see if i can get other than resellers brought into the channel uh, so that's what that's for but mainly it's about the watch hours you get per day that's where you get paid on YouTube. So <coughs> let me go to analytics and here comes that tickle again. <coughs> I apologize. I'm sorry about that. So like, let me, uh, I need to do two windows here so I can get a look at both. <coughs> Give you guys kind of a layout on what it looks like, even if the videos don't get a lot of views. So let's go with Monday the 25th. So Monday the 25th, I put three videos, three videos out. So my morning video, this type of video, and a work with me video. So Monday the 25th for three videos, my watch hours were 408. So at 408 watch hours, I made $33.60. So my thinking is, okay, if I can double that 408, get it up to 800, then that should put my daily revenue in the 60s. If they're in 60s, then, and I can do that daily, then that's like over $1,500 a month YouTube money, right? So, like, so let's see what Tuesday was. So Tuesday was one, two, three videos again on Tuesday. Watch hours were... Whoops. Why am I clicking three times? <laughs> was 516 watch hours, so a little over 100 more watch hours. And my revenue is $47. So I'm like, oh, so about 500. Probably going to be about 550 is about $50 a day. $50 a day is $1,500 a month. So that's where I was kind of playing. So like yesterday's videos. Which is... Was, was, was it the 28th? No, the 27th, sorry. One, two, three. So three again. Yeah, okay. So three again yesterday. Now, this may not tell me the money yet. It usually comes in at night. But I'm at 500 and 
90 watch hours. So we're taking another little step up. Now, will my revenue be 52, 51, 53, 54, somewhere in there? So that puts me over that. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. So then introducing this new one in, the other ones are longer. Some, so some of you guys watch the long formats, the work with me's are an hour long, the morning one's an hour long. So that's where probably most of the revenue comes from. Uh, but then these others are just, this other one is just to try to reel in anything new. People who aren't resellers, uh, maybe I get lucky and something like, oh, he's got Tyler Swift in the title. It gets picked up by the algorithm, goes crazy. And I get a hundred new subs of people who aren't resellers and it ends up with a thousand watch hours on its own because he said Taylor Swift. Oh, he kept saying Tyler Swift. What's wrong with him? You dummy, it's not Tyler Swift. And actually that was a complete mistake. But afterwards, I apologize in the thing. But then I thought, well, that would be cool because if people start attacking me for saying Tyler instead of Taylor or Taylor instead of <laughs> Taylor Swift saying Tyler instead of Taylor, then that could be bonus because then that would push it up in the algorithm. And so even though it wasn't done purposely, it could have turned into a benefit. So that's what those videos are going to be for. And to show you what, and I, I'm trying to approach those as being more playful and in a good mood and, and making stupid bad jokes off the top of my head as I do them. So trying to just have a little more fun Maybe try, maybe I got to set myself up in that headspace before I turn on the camera to think um, improv, improv comedy, James. Let's see what you can do and then put myself in that situation at least once a day and see if I can come up with anything funny. And if I can come up with anything creatively title wise that will do something so I can use those videos as my play, my play toy for self-happiness and just to play with the algorithm, if you will. Normally, that, it, from what I've learned, that stuff don't really work because it's usually like the channel is based to certain people. Um, I, think there, I think I watched a video once and I got to try this and I keep forgetting. You can click something as you're uploading the video so that it doesn't notif notify the normal people who watch this the channel and that can send it into another realm in the uh algorithm i don't know if that's true or not i've never personally said it. i was watching one of those videos on how to get more views and blah 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 i may try that on one just to see if it but you have to do it as you're uploading and i always forget so I may, if I remember, I'm going to try that with one of the videos, do an oddball title and see what kind of views it gets and play with that, that way of doing it and see if it helps or hurts. So like with the, but from what I've learned, like even with that weird title, it's probably going to get a lot less than normal because my normal people who do reselling, it's not going to go out to them. And it's really not going to go out to anybody else, even even with the Taylor Swift in the logo or in the title. So it just kind of like usually from my experience, it just totally kills the video, period. But we'll see. Uh, right now, with I'm sitting at 86 views on it. So, yeah. So pretty much the same what I expect. So pretty much nothing. So, <laughs> but we'll see something different to play with to do and to have fun with and you know what that's what it's about you know sometimes with especially with all these issues we, we get too wrapped up into the the seriousness of the business right and at least i know i did and it's time to just start having fun again and even the video the 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 title and that i came up with this morning I'm like, what if I just try to, when I make a title or thumbnail, try to, not all the time, but at times, 
try to give like a reseller unity, if you will, like the, um, the thumbnail resellers, resellers are a different breed, right? That's kind of every reseller can relate to that, right? Probably more times than not. Resellers lifestyle is not for everyone. Uh, we love the freedom to work 80 hours a week for ourselves. So given kind of like a little bit of factual things that kind of unite resellers. So every once in a while, probably more times than if I don't think of some kind of fish hook thing, I'm going to try to remember to go with something like that and see if that, if I can start getting some big hugs, some virtual hugs and stuff, sending out some virtual hugs to the reseller community. And now that guy with the Janet Jackson just asked a question twice. Hello, my friend. I saw the price you offered. I sincerely want to buy this. I want to know if the CD is scratched. Has it been polished? Because I don't like polished CDs. Well, you can't tell if they're polished. You can't tell if they're polished. Where is this one located at? Uh, waiting payment. No, did you already pay for it? Yeah, you just paid for it. C38. Let me go grab that real quick. C38. And then we'll look at it together. C38. Yeah, I'm going to have to repolish it. So, because it's got some light scratches in it. So, I will answer him accordingly and see if he still wants it. But I'll tell him I do have. Well, you'll hear me. I'll talk. Let's see. Hi. I will have to resurface it due to scratches. But. I have a professional machine and then I'll just put like $3,000. So you cannot tell it has been resurfaced. Or if you choose, I can go ahead and cancel your sale if you do not want it. Thanks. Simple enough. You either want it or you don't. I don't know why some people don't like them. I, I think a lot of people are just accustomed to the, the crappy machines where you can tell that they've been resurfaced. So I think that's where a lot of it comes from. That's why I threw in, I have the professional machine that you can't tell. So we'll see if he keeps it or not. If not, oh well. Anyway, thanks everybody for hanging out. I will see you all in the next video. Later.